So the, this is a uh, mock-up of a Smithsonian Commons homepage for the prototype we're working on. Today is December 17th, I think. And so we're still you know, a long way away. This is really a first look. And it's uh, very nice of Salve, the designer, to let me see this and play around with it, even though it's really you know, version 001. So this is a, a conceptualization of the Smithsonian Commons homepage. Um, Right now, we're dividing up uh, or, or having the kind of clustering content around history and culture, nature and science, uh, art and design. Search is very prominent. Uh, Kids Commons, Customize, My Collection, My Browse Path, Join, Login, Search. I love this thing. Surprise Me is one of the links right there. Uh, Smithsonian for your smartphone. Learn more. Uh, this would be a kind of a featured promotional area where we could talk about the Smithsonian Commons or bubble up editorial messages. Here's a box where we're trying to spotlight Smithsonian expertise in the Commons and uh, balanced against Smithsonian expertise is recent activity, um, uh, things that uh, users or Smithsonian staff have recently added to the Commons. Um, each of these areas, this is really a, a rectangle that's been divided into quadrants um, this one is for nature and science. Uh, so this piece of content is a curator's choice. It's been commented on 25 times, emailed 2,600 times, certain number of views, certain number of ratings. So we're trying to, uh, uh, as often as possible, show the activity of the user community and the recommendations and expertise of Smithsonian experts. Here's a crowd favorite, a curator's choice, behind-the-scenes look, um, uh, each of these will link back either to object pages or museum sites. We're also highlighting members' collections, personal collections. Here's uh, someone who's a student from France and their collection, uh, an invitation to create your own, um, showing the activity of users at the bottom, recent comments. These may be taken from uh, blog posts, uh, recent excerpts from Smithsonian Twitter streams, uh, highlighting events at the Smithsonian, uh, a featured item on Smithsonian store, and of course across the bottom, uh, subscription information, Facebook, Twitter, RSS, visit Smithsonian museums, earn some commons cash, it's kind of a concept we're playing around with, uh, support the Smithsonian, sponsors, all sponsors. Um, uh, so we're, we're trying to turn this concept over in our minds and see if it answers the, the, the main response to the main ideas of the Smithsonian Commons, um, is it vast? You know, does it show the vastness of the institution, the way that the Smithsonian lets us talk about things in, uh, you give a 360 degree view of many topics from many disciplines? Is it, does it support findability? Does it support shareability, socialness? Um, does it, is it, is it kind of free? Are we charging subscriptions for things right off the bat? Um, and also trustedness. Does this show and take advantage of the Smithsonian's position as a trusted institution? 